If you guys were excited about last month's Lenovo and Fedora announcement, hold on to your butts, because what I'm talking about today has me so thrilled, I've got to stand up for this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. This is going to be a short video. It's not going to be highly produced. There's not going to be all this, you know, B-roll footage to compliment the voiceover. We're just going to have a chat. But before we get into it, please consider subscribing to the Linux for Everyone channel, or if you prefer library, all of the videos are on library as well. That's L-B-R-Y, and you can find it in the links, uh, many, many links below the video's description. But anyway, yes, I, I, am, <laughs> I am standing up right now because I have just this, ah, I don't know, um, kind of a, a natural high of joy and excitement. I know that sounds lame. Let's just put it on the table how amazing this news from Lenovo is. Beginning this month, Lenovo will certify all of its workstation PCs for both Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Ubuntu LTS. Now, what does that mean exactly? All of the uh, ThinkStation PCs and all of the ThinkPad P-Series laptops. We're talking about all configurations, all different SKUs, all of their workstation uh, systems are going to be not just certified, for RHEL and Ubuntu LTS. They're gonna offer those distributions pre-installed and they're going way beyond that. So let me read you a quote real quick from Rob Herman. This is a very long title that he has, but bear with me. Rob Herman, General Manager, Executive Director, Workstation and Client AI Group at Lenovo. Going beyond the box, this also includes full web support, dedicated Linux forums, configuration guidance, and more. Now, if that's not enough to make you jump for joy, how about this? this. If you guys saw the uh, Lenovo and Fedora interview that I did with Matthew Miller and Mark Pearson, Mark touched on the fact that Lenovo will begin porting some of its Windows exclusive um, PC management utilities over to Linux and, and treating Linux like a first class citizen, right? And they also touched on the fact that the, the X1 Carbon and the other two models that will ship with Fedora 32 will have all those drivers and firmware. For example, the fingerprint sensor, sent upstream to benefit the entire ecosystem. That now is getting applied on a much bigger scale. Another quote from Rob Herman. What's more, Lenovo will also upstream device drivers directly to the Linux kernel to help maintain stability and compatibility throughout the life of the workstation. So what that means is now all of the ThinkStations all of the ThinkPad P-Series laptops, you're gonna be able to have pretty solid compatibility with any Linux distribution that you choose to use on those machines. All of this so far is terrific, but I always like to kind of peel back the layers on an announcement and analyze the, the tone of a press release. And speaking of press releases, this is the most fun I've ever had reading a press release because those aren't really that much, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of boring. But uh, anyway, see, I'm just, it was, it was the tone of Lenovo's announcement. It was actually, it was their enthusiasm and their validation of Linux as a very, very important part of their business. Herman writes that more than 250 million computers are sold each year and net market share reports that 2.87%, roughly 7.2 million users are using those computers to run Linux. And then he says, once thought of as a niche IT crowd, this user base of data scientists, developers, application engineers, scientists, and more is growing, stepping into sought-after roles across multiple industries and becoming essential within their companies. Becoming essential within their companies. I, I, love, I love that endorsement. I love that validation from a huge OEM like Lenovo. And uh, I'll skip down to another quote that he has. By certifying our entire portfolio of ThinkStation and ThinkPad P-Series workstations, we are prioritizing the needs of specialized end users and helping to ensure our workstations will deliver the best possible out-of-the-box Linux experience, increasing the flexibility of users across all industries. So my, uh, my totally unofficial TLDR version of this entire press release from Lenovo is basically this. You matter to us and we are paying attention. And you know what? I question whether or not I should put Dell in the crosshairs here 
because I love Project Sputnik. I love what they're doing with their uh, their Linux support and the the drive that Dell has to to bring Linux more into the spotlight with their products. But the fact that you know Lenovo is touting full web support and even configuration advice and a dedicated uh, Linux forum for these for these systems shows me that this is not just lip service. They are tasking people and they are devoting resources and they are devoting time to this launch and to supporting Linux on a, a much larger array of uh, systems. I've got the full article. I just finished writing an article up about this at Forbes. I'll have a link down there in the description of this video. I'm just excited. And I, uh, I wanted to just get on, get on the camera and talk about it with you guys. It's awesome to have more and more options. It's amazing to see a huge OEM like Lenovo embracing Linux more and more and doing it in a very public fashion. And that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care and take care of each other.